And normally, what will happen is we'll get really good results because the, the row is really firm and it seems like it's just going downhill by the minute. So, and that's a really hard concept because you, you really don't get a lot of forgiveness. You, you know, if you're trying to get what we're trying to attain, it's, it's really a race. So, the row we're gonna process right now, I don't know if it's gonna have much resilience. We tried to save it out so that it looked like it would have some durability, but sometimes it will be oily or it will be soft. The, the membrane will start to get soft and so the salt time will get really quick. So you have to be really on the move. But we'll know in a minute because <laughs> we're gonna screen some right now and we'll know right away. So. Let's take a look at this row. So what what the what the deal is? Color is really awesome, um, but it it's darkened overnight. I mean, it was a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter overnight, and it didn't look like appear to be have much trauma in it. And we'll find out. We're going to find out as soon as we start to rinse. But right now we'll just this up, run my thumb down the middle of it pretty much like this, flatten it out, and, and then I scrub diagonally. I think some people scrub um, with the mesh, but I, I, I kind of scrub diagonally. And, and I don't go crazy doing it either because the membrane will drive you nuts. If you, if you have to work this very hard, the membrane will be out your stuff and you won't be able to really clean it up in time. So you're more worried about the membrane breaking than the eggs themselves? Actually yeah. Yeah because we're gonna we're gonna wash any broken eggs out. See there's some there's some uh, clots right there and I'll just try to pick those out if I can. Sometimes you can dab them out with a paper towel. That's that's another way of doing it. How it is it's all about ma maturity you know the eggs so um, We've got, we've got a situation where everything's happening as far as, far as, the, as the fish matures. And we try to get all these fish caught closest to tide water because once the fish starts to get into fresh water, it starts secreting some um, enzymes that start to make the sometimes makes the row stronger and stronger and stronger. But as the fish goes further and further upstream and the maturity continues, the, sh the shell on the egg starts to get firmer and firmer to a certain point. And so we're trying to catch all those things. We're trying to catch the maturity right. That's how the grading works. Because if the, if the row is immature, we might as well, we're just gonna make a bunch of oil because all the eggs will break because the membrane's just not big enough to support it or strong enough to support it. So. Um, so that's basically it. We're going to go ahead and just put that in the can. Yeah, I know, right? Sometimes it's a lot of picking stuff, but we'll see. 
you know, I've, it's because I'm a commercial fisherman, we, we're constantly inventing stuff, and we don't know if it's the right thing. A lot of stuff fails, you know, but we just keep trying. And, and this, this, creating this colander, it immediately took like 45% of the time out of our work. Just like, boom. We went from like a 23 minute production time per fish down to like 11 minutes. And it was just the coolest thing. I mean, we just went <laughs> dancing around because suddenly not only were we getting like a really great, you know, we were getting this really clean egg suddenly. You know, we were removing all that particulate that we couldn't even see before. You know, prior to that, we were, you know, there was a lot of particulate in the row and we didn't even know it was it existed. Right till we down. Yeah, so it, it really turned out to be a real asset for us. Um, why don't we get started with you? This may be what to do over here to the The, the particulate coming out. And we'll usually, it usually takes, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of problem with this one. We'll see. Try it in the raw stage like that, just to see, you know, how we're how we're, how it's going. Because um, the beauty of this whole process is how it starts to arrive. You know, it's just not there. It's not there. Sometimes it's got a really foul taste. It can have a terribly foul taste sometimes. Sometimes it's got this incredibly unpalatable uh, bleh. Kind of. That's the best way to describe it. And then suddenly it starts to sweeten, and then you do, you know you don't have a lot of time left. And, and and what I mean by that is, you know, if you want to continue salting it, you can kind of relax. But if you want to just sort of kiss it with the salt, so you can make it really palatable and really something special, you know, closer to cream butter if if that's what you're looking for, then you know you need to really be on your toes. And uh, sometimes. I start talking about girlfriends or something, and the next thing you know, we're all, we're too salty. You know, it's so it's. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, did you tell them about the spoons and if you there's spoons taste? right there if you'd like to try them. Try yeah. these. These are. The way to do it is to yeah. dip it, put the Drop eggs on the back of your, your hand, and then you can keep using the spoon. If it goes in your mouth, you'll have to get a new spoon. Let's see now. I See, this is what we're trying to get uh, rid of. Any little blood spots, um, the hairy ones. So it's it's good to get that out of there. And uh, we're fairly successful. We've had good reports about clean eggs compared to others. <laughs> we do one fish at a time, and usually, um, usually we do about six paid fish sometimes. That's kind of what we do. But, you know, when we're, when we're really booming along, it takes about 14 minutes per fish, and that's, you know, in the cooler and 
and ready to go. It's, uh, wow. I really like this. Let's get it out. Let's go, go, go. Okay. So we're done? Yeah. What's the strength of the prime? It's 100%. 100%. Yeah. Saturated solution. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's, it's like a ratio of like, I use about seven pounds to three gallons of water. So you, and I get more... it right on too. If I get it right, you know, I don't, I don't have any trace salt left. It's all just perfectly used up. So it's all about the timing. That's about the actual salinity of the solution. Yeah. Yes, because we actually made up a batch one time that was 50%. <laughs> and the eggs sank. <laughs> and it was like, we're like going, what happened? <laughs> it was, and, and it, they turned out great. It just, they took twice as long. So, um, but I, that was really a shocker. Those they guys, just they, they're really irrelevant about how they salt. They salt like crazy. Mm -hmm. And they don't have any, they don't have any regime or program. They just salt. And they'll do it right on the bank of the river. And they'll over salt it because they like it salty like that. So what we're trying to do is we're just trying to make it for fresh. That's the whole dream here is try to provide something that is special for people. How long will you dry it for? A, a really good, you know, what's really neat is that the humidity has changed dramatically overnight. So our row, we did a little batch and you'll get a chance to try it. It was really dry. and. It, of course, we went a little bit longer, but five hours is really optimum, um, depending on the humidity of your cooler. And our cooler is really dependent on on exterior humidity. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, what we'll do now is we'll spread it really super thin, and that'll help dry it a lot. I'll set it in the direct path of the fans, you know, so that it gets as much air moving around it as possible. and. You know, it just depends on what people are looking for. I really like dry row if I can get, if I can make. Sorry, I'm in my meditation here. <laughs> After it's dried, I go over it once again with the light box so I can see to get all of the shells out. And we kind of uh, you should dive into those. Those are real. I had these earlier this morning. They're really cool. They really are really stiff. Uh, you know, the branch kind of So they're going to permeate. I know. So that's the first job. Because we seem to always think. Nice. Yeah, you know, Perfect way. That's two ounces. Really yeah. Neat experience. Yeah. Plus, just a little bit of.